Hello everyone, welcome to CAD CAM C tutorials. This is the 20th video on SOLIDWORKS beginners tutorials. And in this video, we are going to create a 3D model that you can see on the screen right now. So now let us begin it. So here are the dimensions that are required to create this 3D model. You can download this image from my blog and the link of the blog will be provided in the description of this video. So let us start it. So first we will go to the SOLIDWORKS and we will create a new file. Now we will first make the background plain white. Now from the dimensions we will start to create our model. So first we will create this central cylinder. So here are the diameters so the inner circle is having the diameter of 30 mm and the outer one is having the diameter of 25 mm and there is a gap in between these two circles of 6 mm. So go to the SOLIDWORKS. Now we will go to the sketch and select here the top plane. Now here we will draw two concentric circles like this. Ok. Now we will go to the smart dimensions. Now this bigger one is 50 mm in dia and the inner one is having 30 mm dia. Now we will exit the smart dimensions. Now there is a gap in between these two circles of 6 mm. So select here the line and we will draw two horizontal lines like this. Now select both the lines and select here the horizontal. Ok. Now we will go to the smart dimensions and the distance between these two lines is 6 mm and these both lines are symmetric so the distance between one line and the origin that is half of that that is 3 mm now we will exit the smart dimensions now we will trim out this portion so select here the trim entities and trim out this portion ok now we will go to the features and select here the x-ray boss feature now from the drawings we can see that this height is the total of this diameter and this bigger diameter so this bigger diameter is 2 times 20 that is 40 mm and this bigger diameter is 40 mm so the entire height is 80 mm so enter here 80 mm ok now we have to make this portion this portion and here the extreme end is at a distance of 57 mm from the center of the cylinder and the thickness is 10 mm so we will go to the sketch and select here this top face make it here normal now first we will convert it into the entity Now we will draw a line like this and then we will give it exit dimensions. Now go to the smart dimensions. Now the distance of this line from the center of the cylinder that is 57 mm. And the distance between these two lines is 10 mm. Now we will exit the smart dimensions. Now we have to draw the same sketch on another side and for that we will use the mirror. So first we will insert a center line about which we will mirror the entities like this. And now we have to select these lines. Then we will go to the mirror entities and select this line about which the mirror will be occurred. Ok. Now we have to trim this unwanted portion, go to the trim entities and trim out this portion, ok. Now we will go to the features and select here the extruded boss feature. Now here we have to reverse the direction, so click on this button 
and from this sketch we know that the diameter of the bigger circle is 40 mm so we have to extrude it for 40 mm okay now here this inner circle is of diameter 20 mm so we will go to the sketch and select here this face make it here normal now draw here a circle ok now go to the smart dimensions and the diameter of the circle is 20 mm and the distance of the center of the circle from this line that is also 20 mm and the distance of the center of the circle from the origin that is 57 minus 20 now we will go to the features and select here the accurate cut feature and select here through all ok now here the radius of the circle is 20 mm so we will go to the fillet and select here the fillet radius as 20 mm and then select this edge this edge this edge and this edge and ok now we have to make this portion so first we will design or we will create this portion then we will create these two cylinders so here to create this portion here the thickness of this portion is 20 mm and the distance of the center line of the cylinder from this center line is 57 mm so we will go to the solidworks go to the sketch and select here the top plane make it here normal now here first we will convert this bigger circle into the entity and now we have to insert a vertical line like this now we will go to the smart dimensions and the distance between the center line of the cylinder and this line that is 57 mm and the length of this line and that is 20 mm now here the distance of the center line from this end will be half of 20 that is 10 mm now we will exit the smart dimensions now select the line and complete the sketch like this now go to the trim entities and trim out this unwanted portion now go to the features and select here the actuate boss feature and here this depth of extrusion that is equals to the diameter of this bigger circle that is 40 mm so enter here 40 ok now we have to create this bigger cylinder and that is of diameter 40 mm and the depth of extrusion is also 40 mm so we will go to the sketch and select here the front plane and make it here normal now we will select the circle and draw one circle like this now we will go to the features and select here the extra boss feature and the depth is 40 mm but the extrusion should take place on both the sides of the sketching plane so select here the mid plane ok now we have to create this hollow portion and that is of diameter 25 mm so we will go to the sketch and select here this face make it here normal 
Now here we will draw one circle of diameter 25 mm. Now we will go to the features and select the extruded cut feature and select here through all ok now we have to create this rib now here this end point of the rib is at a distance of 50 mm from the center line of the cylinder so first we will go to the sketch and select here this portion make it here normal now here we are going to create this rib using the lofted boss feature so first we will select this bigger circle right click and convert it into the entities now we will draw one vertical line like this now the thickness of the rib is 10 mm so go to the smart dimensions and here length of this line is 10 mm and distance of this end point from the origin that is half of that 5 mm and the distance of this line from the center of the origin and that is 50 mm now we'll exit the smart dimensions now select the line and draw two horizontal line like this now go to the trim entities and trim out this unwanted portion now exit the sketch now select this sketch go to the features and select here the cows and in cows select here the split line and here select this face and select here projection ok now here we will make this plane show now here we have these two sketches and we will use these two sketch to make the rib so select here first the lofted boss feature then here first select this sketch and then click on this face and now drag this green ball to here and then ok so here you can see that we have created the rib now we will make this sketch hide so right click and select here hide then select the part go to the appearance go to the metal steel and select here the polish steel hope you enjoyed the tutorial for more videos on solidworks tutorials subscribe to my channel cadcamc tutorials thanks